and any time during class. I'm also going to set a certain pace for class, so feel free to go at that pace, or faster, or slower, just listen to your body. And with that, we'll get started. We'll start with the breath, bring your hands to your belly, close your eyes, and take a nice deep breath in through the nose, all the way to the belly, letting the belly expand with the breath. And then on the exhale, pull the navel in, rolling the breath out through the nose. Inhale, nice deep cleansing breath. Fill the belly, let the belly expand with the breath. And then on the exhale, pull the navel in, rolling the breath out through the nose. Inhale through the nose, all the way to the belly, then belly expand off the chest. On the exhale, roll the breath out through the nose. Try to maintain this breath throughout the practice, inhaling through the nose, all the way to the belly, then belly expand. On the exhale, pulling the navel in, rolling the breath out through the nose. On your next inhale, sweep the arms up, bring the palms together, and then exhale into a fold. Bend the knees a little bit. On the inhale, roll up to stand and reach for the sky back. And if you like, exhale, pinch and fold. Inhale, roll up. And the next time you fold, pause there. You can stop at the knees and do a half fold, or you can slide the hands down the shins. If you feel balanced, hands up to elbows and rag down. Let the torso sway side to side. Nice and loose, your body's like a rag down. Releasing the tension, the tightness, the stress. And then find stillness, release your hands to the earth. On the inhale, roll up to standing. Roll the shoulders all the way up to the ears and down the back. Two more rows. And one more. Awesome. Reach for the sky. Interlace the fingers. First fingers point thumbs cross. We're going to reach to the left. And then you're going to reach to the right. Side to side. So keep the arms in line with the ears and you press one side of the body up to the side, and the other side. Next time you reach over to your left, hold there. Standing press it. If you want, you can add the left leg extension or lift for eight, seven, six, five, four, and more two. Awesome. Well, come back to center. The third cage, reach over to your right. Add the right leg extension or lift for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three more, two, one. Awesome. Come back to center. Interlace the fingers. Cut the back of your head and bring your feet as wide as your mat. And then start to press it toward the front up. Press the back of your head into your hands and walk the eyes along the ceiling into a back bend for eight, seven, <clears throat> six, five, four. Three more, two, one. Awesome. Come back to center. Reach for the sky. And then exhale to the heart. Bring the arms out to the sides. And we're going to... Flip the palms up on the inhale, on the exhale, flip the palms down. Inhale, palms up, exhale, palms down for eight. So we're going to shoulder rotation here. Seven defines the shoulders, those little tiny connector muscles in the shoulders. Three more. Two. And then inhale, and then exhale, tap the fingertips to the shoulders. Inhale, extend long. Exhale, bend and tap. Inhale, extend. For six more. And five. Two, four, and three, two, and the next time you bend the elbows, inhale, bring the elbows together, exhale, open up the elbows, inhale, bring them together, exhale, one, for four, just do what you can do, range of motion up to you, three, and two, and one, open up, you're going to open up the palms, inhale, exhale, tap, inhale, close. Exhale, open, inhale, extend, exhale, bend, inhale, close. Exhale, open, inhale, extend, exhale, bend, inhale, together, exhale, open, inhale, extend, exhale, bend, inhale, together, one more, exhale, open, inhale, extend, exhale, bend, inhale, close. Awesome, shake out those shoulders, they're on fire. Good job. And then from here, let's bring your hands to your heart, bend the knees, press the palms, give us sink down the chair. Let's spin the right elbow forward, cross to the outside of your left leg. Stack the elbows, stack the shoulders, open up the palms, and work with the palms pressing, lift that top shoulder to broaden the chest, drop the seat a little lower, to even out hips the knees. Four more. Three, two, one. Bring the palms together, bring the hands apart from all the way up to standing, and exhale, sink down the chair, press the palms to your elbows wide, Swing your left elbow forward, cross the outside of the right leg. Stack the elbow. Lift that top shoulder, broaden your chest, lower the seat a little lower to even up knees and hips. Six more. Five, four, three, 
two, and one. Bring the palms together, bring the hands to the heart, reach for the sky, and then exhale to the heart. And then bring the feet wide, about mouth width, bring your hands to your hips, and sway the hips side to side. And then you're leaning to your left hip and circle the seat all the way around. Just get that synovial fluid moving in your joints, warming up the hips before we start to flow. Two more. And then switch direction. As wide and as explorative as you can. Work into your hips. Two more. And one more. Awesome. Center the hips. And then bring your heels and toes out. Inhale, reach the sky. And exhale, the knees drop low. Inhale, sweep all the way around. Exhale, drop low for eight more. Go at your own pace. Find your own depth. Just listen to your body. Squats do heat up the body a lot, so just listen to your body. Or more, this is your practice. Three, I'm just suggesting things you can do. Two, and then you listen to you as to what feels right. The next time you sink down, we'll live for eight. As slow as you'd like. Seven, six, five, four, three or more, two, one. You know, come all the way up. Reach for the sky and then exhale the heart. Now let's bring the heels together and bring the elbows and the palms together. And then we're going to bring the fingertips forward, keep the elbows together, and then bend the elbows and lift the heels. Bring the fingertips forward, keep the elbows together, can. Inhale, lift the heels, fingertips up. Six more. So you'll feel the stretch in the front of the shoulders, triceps, and forearms. Four more. A little bit of the wrist. Three, do great. And your elbows might not stay all the way together, but keep them as close together as possible. Next time your fingertips point up, lift the elbows a little higher and cross the heels for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and lower the heels. Bring the fingertips forward, you know, nice fingers and press the palms forward. Reach all the way up and then release. Shake out the shoulders again and then bring your feet parallel. From here, we're going to bring the hands to heart. We're going to have a little bit of balance, side leg lift, or a star. So you'll take your left leg out to the side. That's the first step. We're bring the arms out wide. Left arm will lift with the left leg extension. And then back to center. Or you lift the left leg, lean it to your right side, and extend the arm. And set. If, if you need to, you can always use a wall. You can have your left hand on the wall. And Use that as support to lift the right leg up. Remember, you don't have to lift. You can tap out to the side also. Four, belly's in tight. Three, this works on the hip. Strengthen the hip. Two, and the next time you lift the leg, hold here. Little pulse or hold still for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and awesome. Cross your left leg in front of the right. Bend the knees forward and slide down to the knees. Hug the chest down to your thighs. Stay here. Or you can grip the earth or the shins and straighten the legs. Otherwise, keep the hands on the knees. Hold in a little more if that suits you. Six more. Five. Four. Feel more two. One. Bend the knees forward. Walk up the legs. And undo the props. Walk it out a little bit. And then we'll try the other side. Hands at the heart. Bend the knees. And then you're going to take your right leg. Send outside arms wide. Or we'll lift. The knees as your left foot comes to your right, and then you can extend the left leg out the side, keeping the foot on the floor or lift it up as light as a feather. Four more. Do it. Three and two. And the next time you lift your left leg, hold here, pause the left leg for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Bring the feet together. Walk it out. Awesome. So we're going to try alternate. So bonafide version will look like the left leg extends out, center, right leg extends out, or right leg lifts. I mean left leg lifts. Sorry, left. Your left leg lifts, and then your right leg lifts. For eight, shift from side to side. Remember, you don't have to lift. You can tap out the side instead. Do great. Work on that flexibility. Three, three, two, two, last set, 
one and one. Awesome, beautiful. Walk it out and we're going to start our flow. So step the front of your mat and we'll step the right foot back. So the left foot's forward at 12 o'clock, the back is perpendicular down to the front heel. Arms will open up with the legs, warrior two. This is your inhale, um, exhale position on the inhale. You'll turn forward and bring your right elbow in front of your face, left elbow behind the back, right elbow high block. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, right elbow high block. Exhale, warrior two. So both forearms on the right forearm goes forward, the left forearm goes behind the back, both palms face away from you. Shoulder and hip movement, two. And the next time you turn forward, hold here. On the exhale, we'll do just the arms first. You'll switch the arms, ha out to the mouth, ha, and then inhale, switch back. Next option, step the right foot forward into um, a, a kind of a standing position. Exhale, and then inhale, step back, switch the arms. Or you'll do a knee lift. Switch the arms, exhale, come out with the knee. And then inhale, switch back and step back. Exhale, switch the arms. Inhale, switch back for eight. Just do the best you can. Lose your balance, no worries. Seven. Six. Remember the foot can stay in place. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Inhale, open up into a warrior two. Exhale, reach forward, inhale, reverse warrior. Put the left palm up and over the head, right hand slides up the spine. Exhale, bring your left elbow to the midpoint line, the inside knee, right reach up or over the ear, side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Six more, keep the arms in line with the torso. Pull the belly tight to the back body. Four more. Exhale, in. Inhale, up. Three, inhale up, exhale down, we got two more. Inhale, reverse warrior, exhale, side angle. Last one, inhale, reverse warrior, exhale, whole side angle. Left elbow to midpoint, line the inside of the knee. Right arm reaches up or over the ear. Find length and extension, you are extending side angle. Remember to make sure that the arm is directly over the ear, out of view, six more, five, four, Exhale, warrior two, and then inhale, heels and elbows and goddess. Exhale, warrior two, inhale, goddess. So open up the hips to a 45 degree angle, pull the elbows in, flip the palms up for four, and three, two, and then hold here. And drop the seat a little bit lower if you want. Lift the heels, pulse it or hold still for eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower the heels. Exhale, open up into warrior two. And then inhale back to that goddess. On the exhale, you're going to slide your hands down the inner palms. And then inhale, come all the way up to standing. Standing goddess to unfold um, the goddess for six more. So you're sliding down, dropping the tail as low as you can. Four more, and don't worry about going all the way down to the ankles. It's like a spider goddess, actually. We do this in squat two, and we reach for the back, the heels two. And the next time you go low, let's try to stay low for eight. Try to relax instead of tense up. Maybe a wiggle side to side. Five more, four. Good more, two, one. Inhale, come up. And then exhale, warrior two. Inhale, turn forward, reach for the side. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, warrior one, shoulder and hip movement. Exhale, warrior two. For four. Exhale. And three. Exhale. Two. The next time you turn forward, hold here. On the exhale, we're going to press the palm to the cross and right elbow to the left back. Inhale, warrior one. For five more. Belly sometimes make the turn. Four, and Three, legs and tight, turn to the waist and shoulders. Two, and you may not be able to reach all the way to the other, five, that's okay. Pull up for a twist. 
Right elbow to the outer thigh, top of the thigh, or inner thigh. Keep twisting, turning. If you want, you can open up the palms for eight, seven, six, five, four. Do the more two. One, bring the palms together. Reach up, open up to the side. Warrior two, and then exhale. Back lunge, bend the back knee, straighten the front. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, back lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Four more. Nice big hamstring stretch. Three. So nice long flow today. Two, you're doing great. And the next time you sink back, hold them for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, then more two, one. Inhale, come back. Try that loose side, and then we're going to put it together. So right foot forward, left foot back, front chest is well, back is perpendicular down in the front. Distance between my feet is up to me, the widest stance. The more I'm bounced, I'll be, so just listen to your body just as needed. Arms over the legs, warrior two. On the inhale, we'll turn forward, bring the left elbow in front of the gates, right elbow behind the back, left elbow high block. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, left elbow high block. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, left elbow high block. For five more. Inhale, left elbow high block. Exhale, warrior two. Four. Inhale, left elbow high block. Exhale, warrior two. Three. Exhale, warrior two. Two, left elbow high block. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, hold here. So we'll start with just the arms. Exhale, come out and switch arms. <sighs> Inhale, switch back. Now add the step. Left foot steps forward. <sighs> Inhale, step back. And then if you want, knee lift. <sighs> Inhale, switch back. Exhale. <sighs> with or without the little step or the knee. <sighs> just the arms you can do. Six more. <sighs> just do the best you can with balance. <sighs> you lose your balance, come back to it. <sighs> Five more. Four, three, two, and last one. Switch back, open up, warrior two. Awesome. Exhale, reach forward. In our reverse board. Left hand reaches down the spine or up the spine. Or up, uh, up the spine or down the back leg. Sorry. On the exhale, take your front elbow to the midpoint thigh or the inside knee. Left hand reaches up or over the ear. Side angle. In our reverse warrior. Exhale, side on. As you warm up to it, find a little bit more depth, a little bit more strength. If you found your edge already, then stick with that. No pain ever, just finding yourself challenged here. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Two more. Inhale, up and over the head. Exhale, reach down to the inside calf or the top of the thigh. And the next time you go to side angle, right elbow to the midpoint thigh, the inside of the knee. Inside the calf, left arm reaches up to the sky or directly over the ear for eight, seven, six, five, four, give them more two, one. Inhale, come up, keep the front knee bent, take the right elbow to the sky, the left elbow behind the back, left fingertips up the spine or down the back leg. Four more. Three, two, one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, spin the heels and the elbows in. Got it. Exhale, warrior two. Heels pull in, hips open to 45 degree angle, both knees bend, elbows pull in, thumbs flip back. Four more. Three. And two. And hold here. From here, heels up, heels down, or alternate heel lifts. For a seven. Just do what you can do. Six. Five more. Keep the seat low, work those quads. Four. Three, two, last set. Awesome, lower the heels. Exhale, warrior two, and then inhale, goddess. Exhale, slide the hands down the inner calves. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale, spider, goddess. Inhale, standing, goddess. Bend the knees, draw up the tail, reach down the inner calf towards the ankles. Four more, we're gonna adapt the strength here. Three, try not to tense up. Two. And the next time you go low, stay low. Try not to tense up, try to relax, maybe a little sway side to side. Or still, but if you need to come out of it, just go back to standing down and four more. Three, two, one. Inhale, come all the way straight up. And then exhale, warrior two. Inhale, turn forward, reach for the sky, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Turn the shoulders and hips forward, lift the ribcage, keep the shoulders down. One more. 
Three. Exhale. Two. And the next time you turn forward, hold here. On the exhale, press the palms together, cross the left elbow towards the right leg. On the inhale, come back up through center. Pull the leg back, move from the shoulders and the waist. Don't worry if you cannot bring that left elbow all the way to the outside of the right thigh. You can go to the top of the thigh or the inner thigh. But do use your strong obliques here, pulling the belly tight, twisting from the shoulders and the waist. The next time you go into prayer twist, hold here. Sack the elbow, sack the shoulders, open up if you like. For eight, seven, six, five, four, feel the marching. Come on, bring the palms together, bring the hands to the heart. Open all the way up into warrior two, and then exhale, sink back. Bend the back knee, straight front, rest hands in the back foot. Inhale, warrior two, or take your front hand to the back foot. Inhale, warrior two, exhale, back lunge. Five more. Sink back into that left hip. Stretch the right hamstring. Two more. And hold back, pull low for eight, seven, six, five, four, two, one. Inhale, come back up, four, two, exhale, walk it out. So we're going to put that series together and true vinyasa style. Step the front of your mat, bend the knee, step the right foot back. We're going to do three rounds, alternating front foot forward, start with the left foot forward, arms open up the legs, four, two. Exhale here on the inhale, right elbow high block. Exhale, switch and step or knee. <sighs> inhale, switch back, open up, warrior two. Exhale, reach forward, inhale, reverse, warrior up and overhead. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse again. Exhale, pause middle, warrior two. Inhale, heels and elbows and goddess. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, goddess. Exhale, reach down for the ankles. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, turn forward, reach for the sky, warrior one. Exhale, cross the right elbow, left thigh, for your twist. Inhale, come up, open up. Inhale, warrior one, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, to your back lunge. Exhale, warrior two. That's our flow. Step forward, walk it out, and switch sides. So right foot forward, left foot back. You're doing great. Warrior two. On the, ex on the inhale, left elbow high block. Exhale, switch, knee to the <sighs> Inhale, switch back, open up, warrior two. Exhale, reach forward, in our reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle, right elbow from midpoint, that inside knee. In our reverse, all the way up again. Exhale, pause middle, warrior two. In our goddess, exhale, warrior two. In our whole goddess, exhale, low. In our all the way up, exhale, warrior two. In our turn forward, reach to the sky. Exhale, prayer twist, cross the body. In our warrior one, exhale, warrior two. In our seat back. Exhale, warrior two. Awesome. Switch sides. Step forward, left foot forward, right foot back. You're doing great. Warrior two. On the inhale, <coughs> I'm sorry. On the inhale, right elbow high block. Exhale, switch to knee. Inhale, switch back. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, reach forward, up and over the head, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle, left elbow from midpoint, by the inside knee. Inhale, reverse forward. Exhale, pause middle, warrior two. Inhale, goddess. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, hold goddess. Exhale, spider goddess. Go left. Inhale, standing goddess. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, turn forward, reach for the sky. Exhale, prayer twist. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, back lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, step forward, switch sides. You're doing great. Right foot forward, left foot back. Warrior two. Exhale here on the inhale, left elbow high block. Exhale, switch arms out of the knee or step. Inhale, switch back, open up, warrior two. Exhale, reach forward, inhale, reverse, warrior, up and over the head, exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse, all the way up again. Exhale, pause, middle, warrior two. Inhale, goddess, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, hold, goddess, exhale, spider, goddess. Inhale, standing, goddess. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, turn forward, warrior one. Exhale, purge, twist, cross the body. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, back lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Awesome. Step forward, switch sides. So ground three, you're doing great. Left foot forward, right foot back, set your stance. Warrior two. On the, on the inhale, right elbow high block. Exhale, switch and step or knee, or stay. Inhale, switch back, open up, warrior two. Exhale, reach forward, inhale, reverse warrior, up and over the head. Exhale, side angle, left elbow, inside the knee, and top of the back. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, pause middle, warrior two. Inhale, heels and elbows and goddess. 
Axel Ward II, Inel Hole Goddess, Axel Spider Goddess, Inel Standing Goddess, Axel Ward II, Inel Triple Ward Reach for the Sky, Axel Prayer Twist, Inel Ward One, Opening Up into Axel Ward II, Inel Sink Back, Axel Ward II, Inel Switch Sides. You're doing great, right foot forward, keep flowing, find that fluidity. Exhale here. On the inhale, left elbow high bump. Exhale, switch and step if you like. Inhale, switch back. Open up into warrior two. Exhale, reach forward. Inhale, reverse warrior. Up and over the head. Exhale, sending the right elbow to the midpoint. Find it inside the knee. Inhale, reverse warrior again. Exhale, pause middle. Warrior two. Inhale, heels and elbows in goddess. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, hold goddess. Exhale, spider goddess. Go lift. Inhale, standing goddess. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, turn forward. Reach for the sky. Exhale, prayer twist. Inhale, warrior one, opening up, and exhale, warrior two. Inhale, back lunge. Exhale, warrior two, and I'll walk it out. Awesome. So we're gonna go through a brief sun salutation. If you're, if it doesn't work for your wrist or, or your body, just feel free to opt out and do something else. Or you can use your knees or just use blocks um, on your hands. Make sure they're okay, stable though. Um, inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, hinge and fold. Hands to the shins, look forward and lengthen. Exhale, bend the knees a lot. Step one foot as far back as you can. Step the other foot to meet it. Down dog, walk it out. Bend one knee and then the other knee. Knee on your knees for puppy dog. Extend one leg back and the other leg back. Find stillness to your legs. On the exhale, shift into plank. Shoulders around the wrists, knees down on your up. Inhale, drop the hips, lift the heart. Opt out your cobra, knees down on your up. Exhale, back to your plank. Inhale, down dog. Exhale, full body strong plank. Inhale, hips drop, elbows pull back, heart arches up. Exhale, back to plank. Inhale, down dog, one more. Exhale, plank. Exhale, back to plank. Inhale, down dog. Stretch it out, breathe, come in. Lay a little tail sweat. Bend the knees and walk the feet forward or walk your hands back. Forward fold, inhale, roll up the standing shoulders, the ears, down the back. Two more rolls. So we're going to go back to the flow. So step to the front of your mat, step the right foot back. So three in a row, uninterrupted flow. Open up the arms with the legs, warrior two. On the, in, on the inhale, right elbow high block. Exhale, switch if you like me. Inhale, switch back, open up, warrior two. Exhale, reach forward, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, sliding the left elbow to the inside knee of the top of the thigh. Inhale all the way up, reverse warrior again. Exhale, pause middle, warrior two. Inhale, goddess. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, hold goddess. Exhale, spider goddess. Inhale, standing goddess. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, turn forward, reach for the sky. Exhale. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, sink back. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, right elbow high block. Exhale, switch your knee. Inhale, switch back. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach forward, up and over the head, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, pause middle, warrior two. Inhale, goddess. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, hold goddess. Exhale, spider goddess. Inhale, standing goddess. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, turn forward, reach for the sky, warrior one. Exhale, prayer twist. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, back lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, right elbow, high block. Exhale, switch arms, add the knee, like. Inhale, switch back, open up, warrior two. Exhale, reach forward, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse again, all the way up. Exhale, pause middle, warrior two. Inhale, goddess. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, hold goddess. Exhale, spider goddess. Go low. Inhale, all the way up, palms together. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, turn forward, reach to the sky. Exhale, prayer twist, cross the right elbow to the left thigh. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, sink back. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, walk it out. Yay, that was awesome. So we're gonna try that on the other side, three in a row. Working endurance, strength, deeper tissue. Doing great. Heat, lots of heat. Warrior two, exhale, heat. On the inhale, left elbow high block. Exhale, switch arms, add the knee or set. Inhale, switch back, open up, warrior two. Exhale, reach forward, inhale, reverse, warrior. 
Exhale, side angle, right elbow to midpoint, left hand side angle. Inhale, reverse forward, all the way up. Exhale, pause middle, warrior two. Inhale, heels and elbows and goddess. Exhale, two. Inhale, goddess again, exhale, spider goddess, good luck. Inhale, standing goddess, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, chair forward, reach for the sky. Exhale, prayer twist, left elbow across the right leg. Inhale, warrior one, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, sink back. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, left elbow, high block. Exhale, switch arms, at the knee. Inhale, switch back, open up, warrior two. Exhale, reach forward, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle, right elbow from your point, that is inside knee. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, pause middle, warrior two. Inhale, heels and elbows and goddess. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, hold goddess. Exhale, go low, spider. Goddess, inhale, straight up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, turn forward, reach for the sky. Exhale, prayer twist, left elbow across the right leg. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, sink back. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, left elbow, high block. Exhale, switch to knee. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach forward, up and over, head, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, pause middle, warrior two. Inhale, goddess. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, hold goddess. Exhale, spider goddess. Inhale, standing goddess. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, turn forward, reach for the sky. Exhale, prayer twist. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, back lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Yay, that was awesome. Beautiful, beautiful. So, we're going to do um, one more standing exercise and then we're going to take it down to the mat. So, a little bit of balance. Um, we're going to go back to the flow actually. So, you'll set the right foot back and we'll just go through the start of the flow and I want to work on just part of the flow. So, warrior two, left foot forward. On the inhale, right elbow high block, exhale, switch, at the knee flip. Inhale, switch back, opening up into warrior two. Exhale, reach forward, inhale, reverse warrior, exhale, set angle. Inhale, come up, reverse warrior, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, goddess, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, whole goddess, exhale, spider goddess. Inhale, straight up. So we're going to work on this again for eight. So just working a little bit more depth. Seven. You can do this. <laughs> You're doing great. Feel free to not go as low. But we are warm, so maybe three and two. And then we're going to hold low, hold low. Give a little sway side to side, relax those hips. Find stillness. Four more. Three. Two. One. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, turn forward, reach the sky. Exhale, cross the body. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, hold the back lunge. For eight. Seven. Six, five, four, give it more two, one awesome exhale, warrior two. Inhale, walk it out. So we're gonna do that same thing on the other side. We're gonna work that spider goddess, and then we're gonna pull the back lunge also. So step the left foot back, right foot forward, warrior two. And exhale here on the inhale, left double high block. Exhale, switch to knee or hold still. Inhale, switch back, open up, warrior two. Exhale, reach forward, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle, right elbow to midpoint that, the inside of the knee. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, pause middle, warrior two. Inhale, goddess. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, hold goddess. Exhale, spider goddess. Inhale, standing goddess. For eight. So work on depth here. Flexibility, we are warm. You got this. Five more. Just do what you can do. But challenge yourself. Three. Two, and then we're gonna stay low, hold low, hold here for eight, seven, six, five, four, relax, a little lower, three, two, one. Inhale, come all the way up, exhale, warrior two, inhale, turn forward, warrior one, exhale, left elbow with right thigh, prayer twist, inhale, warrior one, exhale, warrior two, inhale, back leg to hold. Then the back knee straight in the front, both hands are up to the back thigh, or right hand to the back foot. Four more. Three, two, one. Exhale, come back up. Four, two. Inhale, walk it out. 
awesome, awesome, beautiful. So we're going to take it down to the mat, do a little bit of core work, and then do last few stretches. Um, and just do what you can do, and then we'll take a Shavasana. In our reach for the step, exhale, hinge and pull. Hands to the chin, slip forward. Exhale, bend the knees and lock. Step one foot back as far as you can. Step the other foot to meet it. Just briefly, down dog. Feel free to take it to child's pose right away. And then bend the knees to the earth. Sink the hips back. Child's pose. Nice deep breath here. And then bring the elbows to the earth. And make sure you can reach your elbows. And then interlace the fingers so the little fingers stack. Don't let the elbows slide out. Let's bring the left knee up and then circle out the side. So no feel the weight your elbows, pull the weight out of your elbows to your core. Now circle the other way for four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Bring the left knee down. Bring your right knee up and back and circle out to the side and around. For eight, seven, range of motion up to six, five, reverse the circle for four, three, two, and one. Also, bring that right knee down. Bring your hands to the earth. And kick extend your feet off to the side. Find your seat in the middle of the mat. And extend the legs forward. And just kind of wiggle side to side. Make sure you're on your sit bones on the fleshy part of your seat. And then reach for the sky, the rib cage. On the exhale, bend the knees on purpose and hinge and pull. On the inhale, straighten the legs, reach for the sky. Exhale, hinge and pull. Inhale, reach and lengthen. So we're going to lower back stretch instead of the hamstring so much. Three more. And two. And the next time you hinge and fold, hold here. Putting the chest in as close as you can. If you can reach the toes, pull back and then six more. Five, four. Give them more two. Walk out some. Reach for the sky. And then exhale, you're going to hollow up the belly, see from the spine, and tuck, and tuck back as far as you can. You may or may not be able to reach the floor. It doesn't matter. Feet are close enough in for 10. So I'm hollowing out my belly like an ice cream suit, pulling the navel in tight, tucking the rib cage. Six more, tucking the shoulders, tucking the chin. Four. And three. And two. You did great. And one more. In our reach all the way up, 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 up. And then hinge and pull, straight legs if you can. If you can reach the toes, pull back on them. Just enough to feel something for eight, seven. And then exhale to the heart. Let's bring the feet as wide as your mat into a straddle. And just kind of um, move the, make sure you're on your sit bones. So just kind of move the fleshy part back so you're on your sit bones. And then we're going to bring the, um, sorry, the fingertips to the shoulders. And you're going to lift the ribcage, pull the bottom tight, and you're going to bring the right elbow to the left knee. And then inhale center, and the left elbow to the right knee. Inhale center, exhale cross. Inhale center, exhale cross. Inhale center, for seven. Inhale center, exhale cross. Exhale, cross, inhale, center, exhale, cross, inhale, center, five, exhale, cross, inhale, center, exhale, cross, inhale, center, four, exhale, cross, inhale, center, exhale, cross, inhale, center, three more, exhale, cross, inhale, center, exhale, cross, inhale, center, last two, exhale, cross, inhale, center, exhale, cross, inhale, center, last set, exhale, cross, inhale, center, Exhale, cross, inhale, center. Awesome. Bring your hands between your knees and fingertips set the hands forward into a fold. Keep the feet flat and active. You want to hold on to the inner heels or in the inner arch of the foot for eight. If you can't reach up, that's okay. Keep the hands in the center. Keep extending the heart forward and hinging forward into a fold. Four more. Three, two, one. Inhale, come up. And then the knees. So then, um, let's bring the feet just hip width apart and parallel. Bring the arms by your sides. From here, you're gonna roll the shoulders in your back, puff the heart to the sky, bend the elbows back, we're gonna triceps and straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten your foot a little more, seat up. 
bend the elbows and straighten my seat. Lift some lowers because my elbows are bending. Six more, tricep dips. Five, four, three, two, and awesome. Lower the seat, bring the hands forward behind the knees and roll the back down. If you want, you can roll to the side first and then roll into your back. Once you're on the floor, a little rock side to side. And then from here, let's cross your right ankle on top of the left knee as well. Interlace the fingers, press the palms up, lift the head, cut the back of your head. From here, crunch up and hold the crunch. Cross your right arm to the left knee, left arm to the right, side to side for a 10. 10. And nine. Nine. Eight. Eight. Just do what you can do. Seven. Seven. Six. Six. Five. Five, four, four, three, three, two, two, hold on one side and close and reach for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, switch sides, close and reach for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and center. And from here, we're going to let the head rest for a moment. Bring your knees together. Hold here, narrow stance, or if you can, cross your right knee in front of the left. Put the right foot around the left ankle, or just have your ankles next to each other. Eagle legs. Release your hands and reach for the sky. You're going to cross your left elbow underneath the right elbow and take your hands to your shoulders, or you'll cross your elbows and cross your wrists, bringing the palms together. From here. You're going to tuck the navel, tuck the chin, and bring your elbows to your knees. On the inhale, lower the head. And if you want to add on your feet, lower with your head. Exhale, double crunch or single crunch. Inhale, lower. For eight. And these are hard. <laughs> Seven. And six. And five. Nice tight while you're doing great. Four. And three. And two. And the next time you crunch up, we're going to hold on pulse for eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and awesome. Release your arms, uncross your legs, and extend the legs wide and forward. So straddle legs. Um, from here, we're gonna interlace the fingers, first fingers point, thumbs cross, biceps down by the ears. On the exhale, you're gonna reach for sky, tuck the chin, roll the shoulders off the floor, and then inhale, roll down. So I want you to go to the point where either your shoulders are still on the floor or you come up, but you have to really engage to hold the position. Feet are flexed and active. So not all the way to see, um, seated. I want you to just come kind of to a canoe position, kind of tucking the chin and lifting the shoulders at a diagonal from the floor. Four. And three. And two. And one. Hold here, I'm going to pause for eight, seven, six, five. You got this four, three, two, and awesome. Bring it down. Four is on fire. Awesome. Bend the knees. Interlace the fingers completely. Cut the back of your head. And then bring your knees into chair position. Left ankle crosses on top of the right. Left ankle on top of the right ankle. Knees well. And then crunch up. Hold here. And we're going to cross your right arm to your left knee. We'll go nine, two, one, and then other side. Nine, two, one. Now other side. Eight, two, one. Eight, two, one. Seven, two, one. And seven, two, one. And six, two, one. And six, two, one. And five, two, one. And five, two, one. And four. Two, one, and four, two, one, and three, two, one, and three, two, one, and two, two, one, and two, two, one, and one, two, one, and one, two, one. Awesome. Let the head rest. Release your hands and then Keep bringing the knees together, ankles crossed, or cross your left knee in front of the right. Cross the knees, and you can have the ankles hugging each other, or you can tuck at the left ankle around the right. So that doesn't work for everybody. Don't worry about it. Reach for the sky, 
And then your right elbow is underneath the left this time, hands to the shoulders or wrist cross palms together. So single crunch, elbows and knees, and then lower the head. And double crunch, elbows and knees, and then the head lowers and the feet lowers. Just whatever suits you for eight. Super hard. You're doing great. Seven. So strong with the belly. Six eagle crunches. Five. And four. And three. And two. The next time you crunch up, hold here, little pulses for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and you're amazing. Awesome. Undo the legs, onto the arms. Bring your feet wide. Let the knees go side to side. Awesome. Awesome. Yay. <laughs> and let's um, bring your knees together and open up the knees. Soles feet together. And reach for the sky, interlace fingers, first fingers point, thumbs crossed. Biceps down with the ears. On the exhale, reach for the sky, tuck the chin, shoulders off the floor, just where the shoulders off the floor. Inhale, lower. For a 10. Exhale up, inhale down. So you got to really tuck the chin, pull the belly in tight. Right at the, the opening of your rib cage is, this, is what's going to help you lift here. Four. And three. And two. And then we're going to try to hold and just hand after hand, shoulder to shoulder. Like you're, you're walking up a rope, six more, five, support that, you need to four, three, two, and awesome, bring it down, yay, that was awesome. <laughs> bring the knees together, feet parallel, knees parallel, arms by your sides, palms down, stretch it down, bridge. So, Feet hip apart, heels close to seat, as close to seat, as is good for your knees. Lift the shoulder blades, broaden the chest, lower the shoulder blades so they're flat to the floor, gaze to the ceiling. On the exhale, press your feet, press your arms, lift the seat. On the inhale, lower down. Exhale straight up, inhale straight down, make sure the knees and the feet stay hip apart and parallel. So don't let them knock in or knock out. Your gaze stays towards the ceiling so your neck is neutral. Five, one. Exhale up, inhale down. Four, do your pain. Three, and two, and then hold the seat high, and then from here you're going to lift your right heel or your right foot and then bring it down, and then your left heel or your left foot. So bridge marching, right and left for eight. Keep the hips high, float those feet off the floor, the heels off the floor, six more, okay. five, and four, and three, and two, and one more. Awesome. Feet to the floor, pulse the seat an inch for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Roll the back down. Bring one knee in, bring the other knee in. Take a gentle sway side to side. Awesome practice today. Keep the left knee in, extend your right leg forward, circle that left knee. Circle the knee the other way. And then center the knee, extend your left leg to the sky, interlace the hands behind your left thigh, press your thigh into your hands, pull your hands into your chest. Stay here, isometric release the hamstring if you want more. You can walk up the calf, forehead to the shin, anywhere in between is awesome for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, little more, two, and awesome, walk down the leg, bend your left knee, bring the right knee to meet it, a little sway side to side. And then find stillness, extend your left leg forward, keep the right knee in, circle the knee. And then circle the knee the other way. And then center the knee. Extend your right leg to the sky. Interlace the hands behind your right thigh. Press your thigh with your hands. Pull your hands in your chest. So let the right leg super engaged, but not, but it's not moving. Extended right hip joint stay here. Or walk up the calf. You want forehead to the shin. Work on that split. Split stretch for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Two. Want awesome. Walk down the leg. Bend the right knee, bring the left knee to meet it, little sway. Find stillness, bring the knees into ribcage, feet parallel to the sky. 
find your happy baby. So you can take the arms to the inside legs, you can hold on to the backs of the calves, the ankles, or the backs of the heels. You can also hold the inner edge or outer edge of the foot, big toe hold. Just whatever suits you, I want you to pull down so the soles of feet are parallel to the sky, the ankles are in line with the knees, and the knees are coming down by the sides of your rib cage. Nice deep breath here. Sway or be still. Try to relax, try not to tense up. Four more. Three more. Do great. Two, one. And then release. Um, grab your big toes, and our calves extend all as wide as you can into straddle. Open up the legs as wide as you can. Four more. Three, two, one. Bend the knees, cross your ankles, flex your feet, give yourself a nice hug. And then release, cross the ankles the other way, flex the feet, hug the legs in. And release. Bring one foot to the floor, bring the other foot to the floor, open up the Elbows up to the side at a 90 degree angle, or if you have room, you can do T, arms wide, palms down. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we'll take the um, inner knees and inner ankles together, press into both feet, lift the hips, slide them to the right, let the knees roll left, keeping the knees and ankles stacked to the best of your ability. Look out to your knees if that um, feels good for your neck. And then if you want, you can extend the top leg, keeping the knees together, or you can extend that top leg to your opposite hand. Keep the shoulders grounded and twist from the waist the whole time for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, the march, two, one. Bend the top leg, stack the knees, stack the ankles, bring the knees back to center, and press into your feet, center the hips, lift the hips, center the hips, and then let's lift the hips again, press into your feet, lift the hips, slide them to the left this time. And let the knees roll right this time, stack the knees and the ankles. Look up to your knees if that feels good for your neck. If you want more, extend the top leg or extend your top leg to your opposite hand. Anywhere in between is awesome. Just whatever suits your practice today. For eight, seven, six, five, four. Three little more to two. And awesome. Bend the top leg is straight. Bring the knees back to center. And then press into your feet. Lift the hips. Center the hips. Bring the hips back to the floor. Open up the knees. Reach for the sky. Interlace the fingers. Press the palms up. If it doesn't feel good for your knees to be open, don't open them. Just keep them closed. Reach over the crown of the head. A little hip sway if that feels good. Reach for the sky, bring the knees together, extend one leg long and the other leg long. Go into a straddle of the ground. And then point the toes as you reach along the ground, have a little hip sway. Reach for the sky, flex the feet, release your arms by your sides, palms facing up, and just let the feet open up. And you can keep the legs wide, you can narrow the stance, you can bend the knees, have the knee, inner knees together, or you can have the feet wide and the knees together. You can also have the soles of you together, knees open. Any other shavasana that you prefer, feel free to take that and we'll set and we'll set an intention as we let go of any stress or tension, connect mind, body, and heart into one brightness. So we go through the practice of yoga, we open up energy channels in our bodies and we become more open and more bright and more positive in space, spaciousness and energy. And what yoga teaches us is that when we, when we bring in brightness to ourselves, we need to share that with others so they can have brightness. And then it's a dom domino effect of one person to the next person, the next person, spreading brightness. And as we find our brightness and we set an intention, which is a pathway of living our lives to share this brightness, we'll, we'll set an intention to let go of our mistakes. So. Everybody makes mistakes. We make mistakes constantly. And a lot of times we just go, we, we let them go automatically. We don't even pay them one note of attention. But a lot of times we make mistakes and we hold on to them, we harbor them, then we make them huge and they inhabit our hearts, they inhabit our minds. They're a constant reminder of, of something that we saw as a fault, that we did something wrong. But a mistake is not something wrong, it's just it just is what it is. We make mistakes. We are human. That is what, by definition, is human, to make mistakes. And we learn from our mistakes, and we go on to the next mistake, and, and we make another mistake. And we learn, and we go on. But we don't want to harbor. Yoga teaches us never to harbor our mistakes, that they are to only be learned from. And there is truly, in, in a way, no nothing is a mistake. It is just what the present moment brought us. It is an, and it is a, a bleak in time. It is a moment of an energetic 
connection to the universe. It may have not gone as expected, and that's why we consider it a mistake, but it is just as the universe saw it. And processing it and letting it go and moving on to the next moment to be present and open to the next moment's um, energy and whatever the moment brings is what it will bring. So let the intention be that we all make mistakes and there is nothing wrong with the mistake. They are just what they are. They're just missteps or, or things that we didn't think would happen or our expectations weren't met. All those things don't, aren't, there's no truth to that. So mistake, there is no truth to mistake. All things happen and they happen for whatever reason to learn from or to get stronger from. But we, we go to the next moment and that moment, the last moment, it's gone. We don't need to keep it within ourselves. We learn, we move on to the next moment. We learn, we move on, we move to the next moment. So let this moment be yours. So let go of any things that we have qualified as a mistake and let them go, because they are not a mistake. They are just a moment in time that perhaps didn't mean an expectation, but we sh expectations are not good for us. They're, they prevent us from moving forward and living in the present and living in now. So as we deepen into this moment of brightness, of interconnectivity, let go of your perceived mistakes and open up your mind to the mind, body, and heart connection as one bright star, sun, um, moon, shine. And then slowly bring the inner knees together, bend the knees to the soles of feet on the floor, tap your balls of feet on the floor a few times, and then press it and then let the press the balls feet, tap the heels, and then balls of feet and heels just a few times, and then feet flat to the floor, press in your feet, let the seat, tail sway side to side, and then lower the tail, knees rotate side to side just a little bit, not a full twist, and then center the knees, press in your feet, press into your tail, press into your elbows, which are right by the side of your cage, fingers point to the sky, and press in the back of your head, arch the heart off the floor, Fish. Open up the heart to the universe. Open up the brightness to your chakras. And then lower the shoulder blades flat to the floor again. And then let the head go side to side. And then center the head. Roll the wrist one direction and then the other direction. And then reach up just with the right arm. Lay it by the right ear. And then gently and slowly roll to your right side. You can rest your right ear and right bicep. Rest your left hand to the earth in front of your heart. In a fetal pose, inhale through the nose, all the way to the belly, and then exhale back up through the nose. Inhale, deep breath of prana, energy the breath, and then exhale, sharing your brightness, your openness, your peace back to the world. On your next inhale, press into your left hand, make your way up to seated. And facing me, find a comfortable seat, but your eyes are still cold. closed. And find a comfortable seat, legs crossed or legs extended, we're working on lotus, outer edge of one foot goes to the opposite inner thigh, and then bring your hands to prayer position and heart center. On the next inhale, reach for the sky, bring the palms together, feeling the glow between your hands, like so on flow of this brightness to your third eye center, and then to your heart center. Inhale, reach up, bring the palms together, feeling the glow between your hands, like so on flow of this brightness to your sixth chakra, your third eye center, and then to your fourth. And now reach up as tall as you can, bring the palms together, feeling the glow between your hands, exhale, flow this brightness to your inner wisdom, your third eye center, and then to your love, your heart center. And we'll end class bowing to the earth's energy. And if you'd like, saying the word namaste, which means many things of which one is, the brightness in me reflects brightly on you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please visit me at lesslymanyoga.com, gasyasa.com, on YouTube. Um, thank you so much for your time, your effort, your energy. Thanks for getting to the map today. Have a beautiful day. Have a namaste day.